Hey, in this video, I want to share with you one millionaire secret that has helped me dramatically go from zero to over $30 million before the age of 30. So stay tuned. Welcome back, Shaka Rusin here, author of the best-selling book, Backpack Millionaire. And in today's Millionaire Secret, I wanna share with you this one concept that if you truly understand and you truly integrate it in your life, you're going to be able to implement results faster than your competition. Literally, this is the one invisible thing, secret, so to speak, that most people have no clue about. And if you do this, I can assure you, your productivity is gonna go higher, your profits is gonna go higher, and you're gonna be able to help a lot more people. So what is it? It's literally this. It's the art of thinking. Yes, thinking. Now you may be thinking, you may be thinking, Shaq, what are you talking about? The art of thinking. Well, here's what I mean. Every single day, you have an opportunity to either react to what the world is saying, what the world is doing, what the news is saying, what other competitors are doing, what other people are doing or you have the opportunity to be very proactive and deliberate in your way of thinking and creating. And the force that determines if you will proactively go out and create or reactively react to other people's agenda is your ability to think, right? And too much, too many times, entrepreneurs, business owners, they are in a reactive state, right? They wake up and they're checking their phone, they're checking email, they're checking social media, they see what's happening on Instagram and then Facebook and then LinkedIn. And before you know it, you know, the whole day has gone by and they haven't checked their KPIs, they haven't checked the real results and the real metrics and the data that drives their business. And when I'm coaching entrepreneurs, this is one of the key things that I see. And what will help you really not be like that and be someone who's really proactive and really focused on growing yourself and your business is making sure that you allocate thinking time each and every single day, right? And if you can't do it each and every single day, at least schedule it and put it in your calendar. That's right. Grab your calendar and stick it on there. 30 minutes a week, uh, 30 minutes a day, 15 minutes a day. I try to do at least 10 to 15 minutes each morning. And then in the evening, I try and do at least another 10 to 15 minutes a day. But making sure that I, no matter how busy I am, no matter how, no matter how many projects I've got, I gotta make sure that I grab my journal and I'm writing down and I'm thinking through the day. Now when you start thinking through the day and you start thinking, you start doing this thing called thinking time, you will be able to reduce a lot more mistakes than the mistakes that you currently make. That's one. Number two, you're gonna be able to increase your self-awareness of how things work. Is your team performing? Do you need to hire more people? Are you working in the business or on the business? Are you getting excited by sales coming in or are you really measuring the profits that's coming in? Where are you if you continue this behavior in three months, in six months, in 12 months time, right? Like I'm already planning out my next 12, 15, 18 months, right? Like end of 2021, what projects do I need to have completed in order for me to hit my goals? Now, I wouldn't be able to do that if I wasn't proactively creating time to just think. You know, one of my favorite books is an author that I had the good fortune to meet. Uh, his name is Keith Cunningham, and he's got this book called The Road Less Stupid. And in it, he says, the one key factor that differentiates people that are very, very successful, the ultra successful people, to the people that are always reactive, they're always struggling, they're always broke, they're always complaining, is that the people at the top, they always make time to think. I can assure you, when you start implementing this one habit, which I've seen, most of my millionaire friends, uh, people that, you know, in business, in the business world that, are, that tend to be very successful, they all do this. Now, some of them will call it something else like self-reflection or, you know, the 5 a.m. club where they journal and they write, write things out and they review the week and they, uh, you know, they focus on becoming a high performer. But all in all, 
if I was to just put it in one blanket statement, it's the art of thinking, right? Like this is one big millionaire secret that millionaires have that most people don't. And if you feel, again, this series is called Millionaire Secrets, right? And if that's you, where you want, you desire and dream about, you know, how do you become a millionaire or how do you create a millionaire lifestyle? Well, this is one thing that you want to do, right? Each and every single day. Make time, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, an hour a day, uh, grab a journal and just go through this thinking process. You know, what could you do better? Who could you become uh, that, that's capable of achieving your goals? What are the key metrics that you need to hit in order to hit your goals? Are you on track? Yes or no? Okay, yes, all right, carry on. No, okay, what do you need to do? How do you need to prepare your next three to five moves? These are all critical things that moves the needle. I hope this video has been valuable. Make sure you smash the subscribe button, leave a comment below so the YouTube algorithm can pick it up and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye for now.